Hi, um, my name is Kelly Cottrell, and I was nominated to do the World Dog Trainer Motivation Challenge by my friend uh, Drayton Michaels. Um, the challenge is to answer three simple questions um, about how I, as a trainer, will motivate your dog. Uh, the first question is, uh, what exactly will happen to my dog when he gets it right? Um, when the dog gets it right, I am going to reward him. Um, and I'm going to reward him with something that is exciting enough and valuable enough that it will make him want to sort of stay in this game um, and keep winning, which means that he's going to keep doing the right behavior more and more. Um, full disclaimer, I will liberally and unapologetically use a lot of food while training your dog, um, probably more than you would expect so much that you're not going to need to feed your dog dinner probably on a, after a day that I've worked with him. Um, <clears throat> and it's just because it is one of the most efficient ways to get behavior really quickly. And it's one of the best ways for me to communicate really clearly with your dog um, exactly what it is that I want him to do. And I can do that frequently. I can do it efficiently. I can do it quickly. And I can do it clearly with food. Um, <clears throat> the second question, what will happen to my dog when he gets it wrong? Um, one of two things will happen when your dog gets it wrong. Um, the first is nothing. Um, so no reward, no punishment, um, just nothing. So the dog will learn that this behavior doesn't work for him. Um, and as a result, he will do the behavior less. The other thing that may happen is I may uh, give the dog a humane penalty, um, so which technically is a punishment, but it's not a painful or scary punishment. Um, so not only will the dog not be rewarded, but he will also sort of be removed from the fun. Um, so for example, if he's bullying another dog in play, um, then I might remove him temporarily from the play. Um, the third question, are there any less invasive alternatives to what you propose? Um, the answer is no, there are not currently. Um, you can rest assured that I will do no harm to your dog. Um, whether that be physical or emotional. Um, and I make a promise to you that I will not hurt, frighten, or startle your dog to train him. <laughs> um, and that's under any circumstances.